Hi, Joyce Spencer here with Usborne Books and More. I want to talk to you about some of my favorite books for toddlers up to uh, elementary school age. We'll start with our Muddle and Match books. The alliteration in these are phenomenal. I believe there's about eight in this series. Marvin the Mighty Monkey moves towards the mark on the map to meet the mysterious magical meerkat. So you get those great phonetic sounds. Um, you can also change this story up. Uh, just mix it up, make it different things here. You have this um, funny looking bug with a monkey tail and wings. So um, it makes it really fun for the kids to look through and the vocabulary is wonderful. Um, these are some of our best sellers. This is our newest fairy tales. We have our Peek Inside nonfiction series, and now we have our Peek Inside fairy tale series. We have Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. We just came out with Sleeping Beauty. We also have Little Red Riding Hood. Um, these are so gorgeous. I love just the cutouts in here and the beautiful illustrations. Um, the detail is gorgeous, so it's a really fun way to tell a classic story. Choose Your Own Journey is a really fun interactive book and um, leaves a lot up to the reader. You get to choose whether you're going to ride on a boat, train, car, or bike, and it gives you a different path to follow. So say we're going to go on the boat, we're going to follow this white path. So you go through, find the white path, here's the boat. It says some sleepy people are still in their beds, but we're all on the move. And then you can follow, find the different text that follows your boat and see the different places that it can go um, above land and on the sea. Um, so that one is super interactive and just a fun book to talk about while you read. I love You Choose because it's great for starting discussions with your child. They get to go through and decide what they would do if it was up to them. What kind of home would you choose? They can look through these pictures and see where they might like to live. Um, what kind of shoes would you wear or what kind of hat would you wear? So lots of fun and a great way to get to know your child a little bit better. Our Shine a Light books are recommended for ages 4 to 8, though I think younger or older kids can enjoy them as well. Um, they're super innovative. This one is The Human Body. I believe we have about 15 in this series. Uh, this is my favorite page here. If you shine a light, you can see the baby and the mama's tummy there. And here you see skeletons. So it's a non-fiction book and you learn all about the human body. We have several different titles to choose from. Usborne's Lift the Flap books are wonderful for preschoolers. This is Opposites, First Math, a word book. We also have Colors, Shapes, and Numbers and just came out with the alphabet. So these books are very engaging. Here in the Opposites book we have Inside or Outside. So let's see if we can find this rabbit here. Um, my guess is that it's outside and I just happen to know that it is here in the Cabbage Patch. So lots of fun, very engaging. Your preschoolers will learn a lot. The books get more difficult as it goes, so there's endless learning possibilities. Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. We have three books in this series. We also have Paris and New York City. And um, my son has been bringing this one to me a lot to read. And I have learned a lot about London going through it. Lots of different landmarks that I may want to visit someday. So it's a great way to learn a little bit about our world in a fun way. We have several titles in our big book series. This is Big Book of Sea Creatures, Big Book of Big Animals. The reason these are called big books is because they get really big. So right here you can see just how big this gets. We can see all of this about sea life here. Makes it really fun for kids to open up and explore. These pictures are huge and just gorgeous illustrations. So endless amounts of fun here. We have some new fun stories. This is a masked fairy tale, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We also have Little Red Riding Hood, and I like this one because these these are kids dressed up as the bears, so definitely not scary, and it makes it really cute as if they're just acting out the story, um, which you can do yourself with these masks. Here's the mask of the bear, and in the back you have the mask of Goldilocks, and so you can become the characters and act out the book. Lots of fun. 
I love Anne of Green Gables and I was so excited to see that we have a version for younger kids. This one is a squishy hardback here and um, great illustrations and simpler text so young ones will be able to listen to a classic story. We have um, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, lots of titles in this series as well. Cordelia is a book that is great for all ages because it has a wonderful message about believing in yourself. Cordelia can fly until she tells others about how she can fly and they doubt her. Then she begins to doubt herself. Finally, she overcomes her fear of what others say and proves to them that she can fly and she believes in herself again. Can I Join Your Club is a book about including others, not leaving people out. It's about this duck who wants to join the lion club and he says he can't join unless he can roar and so he tries to roar and it's pretty humorous. Um, he gets denied and he tries to join lots of other clubs and keeps on getting denied and finally he decides to, to create his own club and he lets everybody in and so everybody has a great time. Pandemonia is one of my new favorite books. It is so much fun to read. The vocabulary is wonderful and I love the illustrations. Um, it is about not waking up the panda at the zoo, whatever you do. When the yaks start yakking and frogs start humming, the bilbo, the bilbies bop, the baboons start drumming. The air is filled with a deafening din, sending the wallabies into a spin. They bounce to the beat with the red kangaroo, so don't wake the panda whatever you do. So that is a sample of the really fun text in this book. I know your kids will love this one. Dan the Taxi Man is definitely one of my son's favorite books. He requests it almost every day and it's about Dan the Taxi Man who goes through picking up different instrument players for the band and so um, you get a little idea of what the instruments sound like as well. It says, stop, here comes Claire with her rattly snare. Rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. And so you go through the different instruments and say their sounds out loud, um, and then at the end they perform in the band and they include Dan in with them. And so it is a lot of fun. Um, the text is very repetitive and sing-songy, so kids really enjoy that. Babies Come From Airports is a really sweet story about a family adopting a baby. So the big brother is excited to go to the airport to get his new little brother or sister. And so it talks about Gotcha Day and the big brother remembers when he was adopted. And um, in the end it concludes that uh, babies just come from love. And so you have a diverse family back here with their adopted children. And so it's a really great story about that. Here in the Garden is a great story for anybody dealing with grief. It's about a little boy who is missing his bunny who has um, passed on. And so he's remembering the different things that they did together, the fun that they had together. And he sees the, his little bunny in different things. And in the end, he's happy that they had the memories together. Bears Don't Read is a really fun story about a bear who wants to read and all of his bear family tells him that bears don't read but he is determined and he goes into town and meets a little girl named Clementine who teaches him how to read. So it's a good book about determination and also about not judging a bear just because he's a bear. He could have good intentions and just wants to learn how to read. Ludwig the Space Dog is our new 3D book. We also just came out with Ludwig the Sea Dog. Inside here are some 3D glasses. I've already pulled them out, but there's a little pocket for them there. And so you can put these glasses on and the book will become 3D. And it's about a dog who goes to space. So it's lots of fun to look at these pictures in 3D. Very enjoyable.